Hi, this is Donna. Welcome to DD Paper Crafts. Today I'm going to create this pop-up card using the firework effect from last video. Let's put the project together. To make the card base, we need a piece of cardstock which measures 10 inches by 7 inches. And I've scored at 2.5 inches and 7.5 inches. So before I do anything else, I'm now going to make the crate element or the pop-up element, which is going to sit here. For the pop-up basket, we need a piece of cardstock, which measures six inches by four and three quarter inches. Along the six inch side, we're going to score at half an inch, two inches, four inches, and five and a half inches and we're now going to do some scoring and cutting in this panel here. The first thing to do is fold under the half inch tab and lay the cardstock back into the scoreboard with the four and three quarter inch along the top and the one and a half inch section at the top. And we want to make a pencil mark at three eighths of an inch and at four and three eighths of an inch. And we want to draw a pencil line between this pencil mark down to this second score line here. And we want to do this lightly. This is as a guide and we will be rubbing these pencil lines out like so. Rotate your cardstock back into the scoreboard with the half inch tab on the left hand side and we want to make a pencil mark at a quarter of an inch across from this first score line along the top and the bottom pencil line. So I'm going to measure a quarter of an inch across like so. And then we want to do the same at seven eighths of an inch along the top and the bottom pencil lines. So we want to draw these, join these two lines up. This is going to give us our guide for our cut line. Then using our score tool, we're going to score between the top and the bottom horizontal lines at one and one eighth of an inch and one and three quarters of an inch. So we've got a piece which looks like this. So we've got two pencil lines and two score lines. Using my craft knife, I'm going to cut from this corner here across to the score line, the same at the bottom end, and then I'm going to cut all the way down here. Then I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to cut from this corner to the score line, this corner to the score line, and all the way down here. So I've now ended up with a piece which looks like this with the two cut lines and the edges cut here. Now we're going to carefully fold under along the score lines. So our piece now looks like this. So I'm going to rub out my pencil lines and fold and burnish the remainder of our score lines. And we're effectively creating a box with an open back. Glue is going to be adhered to these two tabs. That's going to sit against the back of our card and this is going to create the front section on our card. We now need to cut two pieces of cardstock for our supports. And these need to be four and five eighths by two and a half. So I've got two pieces which are four and five eighths by two and a half. 
and I'm going to score at half an inch on both along the two and a half inch side. We then want to fold and burnish. And what's going to happen is if we have the half inch tab towards us, we're going to lay our support up against the tab, the score line of the tab that's here, hanging down glue that and that's going to fold over to enclose the support now i'm going to try and burnish these as much as possible so i'm adding glue to the underside of the tab like so i've got this tab facing towards me I'm butting it up to the score line and I'm folding the tab over. Same for this one. Add glue to the tab. Have this facing towards me. Lay it up against the score line and fold over the tab. Then we're going to fold these two tabs over that we've just stuck in, add glue and fold up this back section so we've got our remaining half inch tab and our one and a half inch section here and we're going to fold that up so we end up with our box which looks like this and these two tabs are what we will use to adhere this to the back of the card. Now the pop-up element is made, before I stick it down I'm going to see roughly where I want my firework design to be created and I'm going to put the firework design onto the back panel here before I stick this down or before I do anything else. If you've watched the last video, you will have seen how I decided to create the fireworks. Following on from that, I had another look at the flower die that I'd chosen to use. And I realised that instead of drawing the glue firework and then applying the glitter, I could use my sponge dauber, add glue to the top surface here, stamp that down and then apply my glitter. So that's the technique that I'm going to use on the back panel along with the embossing powder. And I also had another look through my stash and I found this snowflake die but it's got little circles on the end, so it does actually have a bit of a firework look. So I also found in my stash these glitter pens, which came from a Paper Craft Society box. So, so I did a test and I found that by using the pen and drawing on the top surface of the stamp, I could get this effect. So I'm going to incorporate a couple of those into the design as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create the back panel and then I'll be back. Now the back panel has been decorated, I'm going to fold over my scored panels and whenever I create a gatefold, I'm quite conscious of making sure that it's as lined up as possible in the centre. So. I'm going to, now that I can see that this is lined up in the middle, I'm going to burnish down the score line. Now my card base is ready, I can start to add my elements. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crate, my pop-up element. I'm going to add glue to the two back tabs. So this is the top section, which will sit like this. So I'm adding glue to the two back tabs. I'm going to lay this into the central panel 
and ensure that it's as central as possible and paying particular attention to the bottom panel of the card here I'm going to line up this edge with the bottom edge of the card I don't want this to be overhanging in any way because I obviously want the card to sit upright so this is how the card will sit I'm happy with how that sits and I'm just I'm just going to go in and just press the tabs down with my bone folder. So I'm going to set that aside to dry and in the meantime I'm going to get my die cuts ready. My pop-up's now secured and folds flat like so. I've cut a panel to go on the front here which has just got a wood effect on it because I wanted to give a sort of a crate effect and I've just stamped and heat embossed that says time to celebrate so that's going to be stuck on the front there. For the side panels I've cut some glitter card stock which measures two and a quarter by six and three quarters so that's going to go on the front and the back so they will be stuck there and I've cut a panel for the back which measures four and three quarters by six and three quarters and then that will have an additional panel on top which is four and a half by six and a half which I'll write my message on. To go into the pop-up crate I have used, this was actually a silver peel off which I've coloured with a black alcohol pen, Happy New Year, which I've fussy cut and attach that to some acetate and that will stick in the back of the crate. Then I've used the Cheers die stamp and die set made to surprise by Sam Calcott and I've die cut and paper pieced the champagne bottle which will sit in like so the corkscrew which I'll add in and two champagne glasses which I've and I've added some tiny water droplets to those so I'm going to get the rest of my decoration finished and then I will come back and show you it at the end to finish the card off I've made a belly band and I've just added an alarm clock which is from the time stamp and die set I made to surprise take the belly band off I've added hello 2024 I've stuck the die cuts onto the supports in the crate and the card stands up like so so that's the finished project the background is not quite as blingy as I, I would like, but just added some extra glitter stars in there freehand. But I'm really happy with how the card has turned out. I hope you've enjoyed this project and I hope you enjoyed seeing how the fireworks came to be in the last video. If you'd like to see more videos in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell. Until next time, thanks for watching.